Kanye. Do you know how much restraint your girlfriend Vilka has for not waking you up at such a beautiful romantic moment like this? <laughs> oh, the restraint I have is uncanny. If I could right now, I would kiss you up and down. That's how much I miss you. Uh, that's okay. I'll just take it out on your back. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I do love kissing your back. So it's all worked out. Mm. Mm. You know why I love kissing your back? I ask like you're gonna answer. I love kissing your back. Because I think it's the most effective way to show your body. That I am here for you. Your back is a very sensitive place. And I mean, you can't see your back. That's why I think that me loving on your back just tells you that I'm here for you. Even when you don't expect it. I speak well of you when you're here and when you're not. My love for you is unending, whether you're in the room or I'm very far away. I know, you know, because you blush every time I do it. And this fear you have it, that in the end everyone is going to leave has negated. And I love you like this, isn't it? That's why I do what I do so that you can breathe easily and go out into the world and live your fullest life that's what makes me happy getting to make sure you feel comfortable and safe with me so you could feel safe with others and yourself too Hey, baby, I'm home. Don't get scared, okay? Kohanye, not just any intruder coming in, just an intruder that you know and love and want around most of the time. <laughs> most of the time, all of the time. <laughs> if you could, you would probably be up my nose most of the time, so in my face. <laughs> mm. I just need to unlace my shoes. And I know I know we were talking about when I'd come home. I'm sorry that I'm late. They had me stay another hour because it was so understaffed. Ah, oh, and I just wanted to come home to you. It was terrible. Okay. Mm. Oh, thanks for leaving the light on for me. And the note? What's this? There's boudin in the fridge. Boudin. Oh, boudin. <gasps> you made it for me. It's so cute when you try to write in Polish. <laughs> cute. <laughs> I'm going to keep this letter. Put it in my journal. Blah. Go on, yeah. Are you sleeping already? Mm. You're out cold. <laughs> oh, I could just stand here and listen to you breathe. The sound of you breathing makes me happy. And you know that? <laughs> oh, my baby. <gasps> so sleepy, so big. Mind if I jump in? Nah. It's so late, the birds are chirping. I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, you had to fall asleep without me. What? <laughs> Your hair is so messy. It's like you were tossing and turning a while. Oh. 
Oh. Did you miss me that much? <laughs> Cute. Oh, come here, you silly belly. I need you in my arms right now. I need you too, you know. Mm, you're so cute. I love kissing the back of your head. Ah, but I'll do my best not to wake you up. Though, you know I want to. No, but I know you have a big day tomorrow. So I'm not. But I should make you a special breakfast when we wake up. Mm -hmm. Toast with butter and garlic. Fresh orange juice. Just the way you like it. Look, the hot of your excited face lighting up from all of the food makes me just want to squeeze you so tight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's this? What am I feeling right now by your chest? You're hugging on pretty tight. What is this? Let me get up a little. Oh. Are you holding on to a teddy bear this tight? Oh, baby. You missed me that much. You fell asleep imagining this was me, didn't you? My heart. I feel so bad. Oh. oh, I wish I could have been here to tuck you in. Oh, I should have taken that extra hour. I thought of you here alone, tossing and turning, waiting for me to come home. Fuck. That's so cute. I hope me whispering to you isn't waking you up. I missed you so much today. I just <laughs> need to talk it out, you know. You know, if you were awake, I know you'd get a little embarrassed. <laughs> I got you hugging onto a teddy bear pretending that it was me. But, you know, I adore how much you're into me. I'm trying to paint the picture for myself now. When it was starting to be your bedtime, you crawled into bed wearing my favorite oversized hoodie, no less. <laughs> now you, a little grumpy from having to climb into the bed alone, can feel how big the bed feels without me there. I know because I have the same feeling when you're not here. So you toss and turn, messing your hair up in the process, leaving evidence for me to find later how much you missed me. <laughs> and then you reach for this guy right here. And hugging on to something helps you slow down your brain. Helps you notice the smell of me in the bed. The scent of me and you. Together from the night before. Just in utter bliss laying in silence with a sleepy, half lidded gaze at one another. Knowing that this is exactly where you are meant to be. You and me. Just you and me. No, you're so cute. Mm. Mm. Go on, yeah. I'm getting sleepy too. Just being here next 
honesty, it makes me feel so calm. You know, I really hope deep down you could feel me here with you. I hope your body knows, can feel it on a subconscious level, even when you're sleeping, that you're safe with me. I'm here to protect you like no one else can or will in this lifetime. I am your never-ending sentinel. Your friend, your lover. Your breathing slows down when you see me. I know. Your eyes soften. You can let down your guard that you have when you're out in the world to be strong and tough. But all of that dissolves when we can be in each other's arms. The most pure kind of love. Unending unadulterated and unconditional my kohanya there's something deep in my gut that I feel what is this feeling it's like mm, I feel so needed not needed, that's a wrong word, desired. Seeing you curled up in a ball around the teddy bear pretending it's me, are you kidding? That makes me desire you so much. To be desired. Uh, uh, I don't have the words to describe how wonderful it feels to come home to you. Today was a really long night shift. So many people were coming in. We only had three people working. It was a mess. I was in the back with the storage boxes logging what we have and don't have. And for a moment, I closed my eyes. Kohanya, I drifted away, far away with you. <laughs> we were running barefoot in a field of tall, green, lush grass, and it was beautiful. And we had to run up this great hill to get a good view of the entire land surrounding us. You were laughing at me for using my arms to trudge up this mountain. I looked like a dog going upstairs <laughs> and for making fun of me. I jokingly nudged your shoulder or, you know, teasing me. You were saying that I was one of those ugly but super smart poodle dogs. <laughs> and once I playfully nudged you, you laughed at our strength difference. Standing up on a super steep grassy hill with a smile, you pinned me to the grass and we just... Lay there for a little bit, just looking into each other's eyes. My mouth a little bit open, shocked from you pinning me all of a sudden. And there we are. Just... Mm. The look of love and silence, and we both knew. I started to tear up with happiness. My lip quivering a little. And you just say, I know. I know, I feel it too. I love you. I love you. And we hug there in the grass. And then we kiss. Mm. And then we roll around in the grass and kiss. It was beautiful. I even started to cry back in the storage room. I missed you so very much. I wish there was a way to play back my memory daydream so I can play it for you. But I do look forward to telling you in the morning over our celebratory breakfast for your big day. Kohanya, do you know how much restraint your girlfriend Vilka has for not waking you up at such a beautiful romantic moment like this? 
<laughs> oh, the restraint I have is uncanny. If I could right now, I would kiss you up and down. That's how much I miss you. Uh, that's okay. I'll just take it out on your back. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I do love kissing your back. So this all works out. Mm. Mm. You know why I love kissing your back? I ask like you're gonna answer. I love kissing your back because I think it's the most effective way to show your body that I am here for you. Your back is a very sensitive place. And, I mean, you can't see your back. That's why I think that me loving on your back just tells you that I'm here for you, even when you don't expect it. I speak well of you when you're here and when you're not. My love for you is unending, whether you're in the room or I'm very far away. I know, you know, because you blush every time I do it. And this fear you have it, that in the end everyone is going to leave has negated when I love you like this, isn't it? That's why I do what I do. So that you can breathe easily and go out into the world and live your fullest life. That's what makes me happy. Getting to make sure you feel comfortable and safe with me. So you could feel safe with others and yourself too. <sighs> How did I get so lucky? <sighs> what do you want for breakfast? What? You're not gonna answer? <laughs> okay. Does that mean I can pick what we eat for breakfast? I mean, you're not saying anything, so I'm gonna take that as a yes. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow morning, you're gonna be like, why are we having sushi, fool, and pierogi for breakfast? Because you told Vetka she can decide on anything she wants to make her breakfast, right? Right. I like this game. I should ask you more questions when you're sleeping. <laughs> evil, evil. <sighs> God, I love hugging on to you from behind. My baby is so sleepy, so small. Dream. You called me a dog because you do call me a dog when I growl like that. <laughs> You're so mean. <sighs> What's your my meaning? Oh, mine.